Uh, my name is Joseph Scott, and this is a showcase of my randomly generating auto-running game, Snackadash. Um, this was a four-week project, uh, and was made to show my skills as a blueprint designer and a game designer. Um, I sourced these characters from an amazing character artist and animator called Jose Diaz on Sketchfab, and the environment and other things from various freelance creators as well. Um, so yeah, this is a randomly generated auto running game similar to um, Subway Surfers and Minion Rush and Temple Run and that Sonic game, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> um, but anyway, you can choose between these three characters. So similar to in those other games, you can select from different characters and things. Um, but I thought it would be fun and interesting if uh, each character brought something different to the game in terms of gameplay. Um, so I'll just go ahead and choose my favourite, the bear. So as I so as I collect coins, you'll see in the bottom left um, an energy bar will fill up, and as it fills up, you can spend it to perform a special ability unique to your character that you chose. Um, you can also gain energy from picking up snacks along the way. Um, so the bear will pick up a jar of honey and that's his energy and then the um, fox will pick up a bar of chocolate and the wolf will pick up a, a little steak just to add some variation uh, there are also other power-ups like the magnet that'll pull coins towards you and help you gain more energy um, there's the mushroom i just collected there which um, gives you an extra life um, there's the apple this is all coming up good timing <laughs> There's the apple that uh, increases your multiplier, which you can see in the top right. And you basically just keep going and see how far you can get. Um, I also have uh, a random, randomly generating cave system in place. So you can see one coming up now. So each time a cave spawns, there'll be random obstacles or power-ups inside. And um, they differ in length every time too. So they're randomly long, I guess you could say. Um, I'll just go ahead and uh, let myself die. So then I can go back to character select screen and I can show you the other character's abilities. So like I said, uh, this is the fox. And his ability is that he does a sort of Sonic the Hedgehog uh, rolling dash, which lets him go underneath obstacles easier for a second. So I've got enough energy now, so I can show you. So he does that sort of spinning dash ability. And then everything else is the same. All the power-ups work the same. There we go. And then, last but not least, a wolf. So when he gets enough energy, he can perform his own ability as well, which is a pouncing leap ability which lets him jump over obstacles much easier. Like that. And there you have it, so that's pretty much everything for this uh, project. Um, like I said, it was just a four week project, very quick. Um, it was just designed to showcase, uh, just as a proof of concept um, for when I come up with games and how I can apply an art style to it with work with um, other creators like artists and environment artists and stuff. So thanks very much for watching.